So here's the curtain situation at our Airbnb in New Hampshire. This door has a 36 inch window that's got these old granny curtains on them. On. Some stains are on here. I don't know if you can see that with the camera, but yeah, these are old and nasty and look ridiculous. This kitchen window I couldn't do much about because this is actually a nine inch tier and nowadays tiers are I think 14 or 16 inches so I'm gonna leave that one alone so, this dining room window matches but again this the curtains have stains on them so I'm gonna be replacing this one this is a, a old-fashioned u-shaped rod I'm gonna be replacing that with a decorative rod that allows grommets <laughs> This curtain rod is buckled because it, it looks like it needs a center mount a little higher to stabilize it in the center. So I got some curtains that are gonna match the other ones. So they'll all have the same color. We're going with a, what do we call this? It's um, cream. <laughs> so everything, that one, <laughs> this one, and this big mess here is gonna be cream. I think we've got some some pink and granny curtains here with some stains on them as well. And it's on this uh, r ridiculous <laughs> looking set of old fashioned curtain runs. This is a, a navy blue tier uh, on a, a cafe rod that doesn't match either side <laughs> of this window. So I'm gonna get rid of this too and, and put a large decorative rod over this window. My next step is to measure out where I want to install the brackets and the guide is to go four inches up above the frame and about three inches out. So right up here is where I'm going to make my marks with the brackets so I can drill the pilot holes. So I just followed the instructions and I used a 332nd diameter drill bit featured here to drill my taps and then I put the bracket in place and screwed in the screws. It was pretty easy. So I bought a telescopic rod that goes from 30 inches to 42, but my dining room window is only 42 inches wide. So this came in, in three pieces and I only need this piece one and two. This extra piece is optional and I don't need it. So you're supposed to check the rod levelness with a level, but I don't have a level. So I just measured carefully, assuming that the window was level. <laughs> and I just wanted to check the rod before I hang the curtains on to see if it looks okay. And it looks pretty level to me. I've finally hung my curtains and everything looks straight. And this curtain rod was crooked, so I used one of my extra brackets to put in the center up there to take on the extra load, but it looks like I still had it too low, but at least it's not crooked anymore. It's not sagging. Okay, while I was measuring these uh, spaces where I'm going to install these rods, I, I found that there were shelf there was shelving in my way, and the shelving is rather ugly too. There's, they've got these nasty metal brackets exposed and untreated wood so I already removed two of the shelves. I'm removing the last one now. I think we'll put a, a painting up on this wall. It'll look better. Mike's installing security cameras out in the snow. Can you see the snow? <laughs> For my last curtain rod installation project today I have a 102 inch wide window so I got a drapery rod that spans from 72 to 144 inches. This time I'll actually need all three uh, of these telescoping rods. As you, as you can see, this window space is huge, so I had to install three brackets. There's one on the left, one that holds all the center weight, and of course one on the right. Okay, it's, it's a little dark in here, so it's hard to see this already, but I just laid the rod on top of the three brackets that I installed, and it looks straight, it looks good. Okay, I think the white curtain looks a lot better than the yellow check. I had an extra volant, so I put the white volants that came with those other two panels right here above the kitchen sink, 
maybe it's too long and it impedes the vision outside, but I can always wash the old yellow check curtains and put them back up.